It's way too quiet here. Where is everybody? Aye. And where's all these undead Roddy was talking about them being attacked by? They can't all have simply disappeared. Let's split up and look for them. That look of disappointment tells me all I need to know. I've got nothing for you either, I'm afraid. Did you find anything? Nothing. I didn't see a soul. Neither did I. I looked inside some of the shops and things, but nothing. No luck, eh? Ah, same here. Had a wee look around the Institute, but there was no one there. I, Roddy and Lily wouldn't just up and leave. But where could they have gone? Well, the tower here's the only place we haven't checked. Wait a minute. I just saw something moving in there. Come on. Roddy! Uh, Elvis! What's going on here? What, what happened to you? It was Vigintio. Him and his undead army. Vigintio? You mean, he's alive? Whatever you two are talking about, it can wait. Right now, we need to get Roddy down from there. Aye. Aye. You're right. Thanks, pal. Thanks again. I thought I was a goner. I don't understand what happened, Roddy. You said something about Vigentio, but... Lady Emma defeated him? Aye, I know. But he's back. And he's working for Holograd now. What? None of this makes any sense. Listen. You remember when I was talking to you on the Natter Ring? Well... No! It can't be! Vicentio! But Lady Emma, she... she... Killed me! Yes, she did. But she left it too. 
late, because I'd already perfected it by then. The formula, I mean, the one that everyone thought had been lost forever. The one that turned me into the mighty white. Mighty white? What, you think you're the king of the undead or something, do you? Then I threw my rot in with Holograd. They gave me the Arcanist asterisk, and the rest is history. Anyway, that's enough chit-chat. It's time for me to get my revenge. Emma's not here to protect the people of this town anymore. They'll provide the perfect fuel for my fabulous formula. What do you mean? Well, as you have seen for yourself, the ancient magic I use is very handy for bringing people back from the dead. But they have to be dead first. I can't that step. At least I couldn't. But now I've found a way of converting living humans to our cause. What? No! How could you do such a thing? <laughs> it was easy, actually. Perhaps I have a gift for such things. Anyway, now you know what's going to happen to your people. They're all going to be... Come undead! <laughs> and you're going to have a front row seat! Oh, if only your beloved Emma could be here to see this! <laughs> Let's see. That tower over there is probably the best vantage point in the city. Stop it! Let me go! It's time to stop making our final preparations. Take all the prisoners to that old building I showed you. Institute, go! <laughs> it's you time! They're all done for, Elvis. Lily, too. Come on now, Roddy. It's not over yet. Vigentio said he had preparations to make right. But that means with some time before whatever he's got planned gets underway. We just need to find him and take him out before that happens. Yeah, you're right. Aye, you're right, Elvis. We can't give up just yet. But, uh, how are we going to take him out? He's undead, isn't he? I think I might have a wee idea on that front, you know. But we'll need a Waldash branch. Waldash? You know, I'm sure I came across some just the other day. You did? Let's see now. Um... Ah! Of course! Remember the doll poor Lily thought was wee Mona? Well, unless my wizarding nose was playing tricks on me, that thing had the worth of old Waldash about it should enough. Alright. Sounds like we better go take a look at it. You go ahead. I'll stay here and make some preparations of my own.
must make the most of this opportunity.
This is the branch you needed, right, Roddy? Aye, that's the one. Now, I just need to cast a wee spell on it. I'll help. Roddy! I, I'm fine. Just put a bit too much of the old magical oomph into it, that's all. A wee rest, and I'll be right as rain. Well, if you say so. You take it easy, pal. You can leave for Gentio to us. Oh, all right then. Sorry about this. Um, before we go, would you mind telling us how to use this thing? Oh, aye. Of course. Now, first of all, tell me, what do you know about the undead? They are beings who have transcended death, that are animated despite having died. Aye, that's about right. But there's one more important thing about them. All humans die, yes? Our lives are a journey towards death, in other words. Well, for the undead, it's the opposite. They think they're journeying from death back towards life. But what they don't realise is, they'll never get there. They can't ever actually live again. So no matter how many times they're cut down, they'll get right back up, just as dead as they started. But what if we could bring them back to life? Then we'd be able to kill them, and they'd actually stay dead. Which is where the branch comes in. Aye. As you know, the walled ash is a tree full of life, literally bursting with the power to heal and nurture. And all the magic we poured into the branch has given that already impressive power a serious boost. Give Vigentio a good hiding, and then stick it in him. It might just stop him from coming back. There's no guarantee it'll work. I've never tried it before. But if I understand what Lady Emma wrote correctly, it might just be our only chance. Well, if there's anyone I trust more than you, Roddy, it's Lady Emma. It'll work. I know it will. Aye. I hope so. Now... You'd better get going. The people of Wiswold and my Lily are counting on you. Don't worry, Roddy. We won't let you down. Drink to that! <laughs> <laughs> 